Hello everyone, I am Fajar Purnama and on this video I'm happy to present you that I successfully installed Remix OS on my PC on my hard disk that is. On the previous video I installed this on the virtual box. And it didn't go so smoothly with this so maybe if I back then that I thought maybe if I install it on the hard this directly will work and I'm happy to tell you that it was really smooth and so before that if you are if it's the first time you're seeing this kind of video then you should search for remix OS and this is the official site from GIDE, JIDE .com, Remix OS and you may download Remix OS PC player is uh, for Windows and this one is, uh, this is the OS itself after you download you will get an ISO file ISO in a 7 in a zip file and if you unzip you will have these files this is the ISO itself um, 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 uh, it's one gigabyte and this is a tool to install on a hard drive if you have Windows but if you don't have Windows don't worry there is a way to do it on Linux by the way, I'm using Kali Linux, so back to browsing. Search for Remix OX from Linux. And here from the forum of XDA developers and posted on January 15, 2016, there's someone already posted a way how to do it. It is sent to this guy by GB14. And then install the macOS on the CD using Ubuntu. This we can follow. So to install is you can read this but I remember. Okay, I already made a folder though. But I'm going to delete it now. Remix. I'm going to start over from the beginning for you guys and so to start off you need to make a folder the uh, directory here for this case is called remix so mkdir make directory slash on the outer part of the directory and I call it remix and also make a data in folder in it as well and then you will hmm, let's see I'm using Nautilus and in the remix OS I can just double click this oh there is a this image mounter yeah if you if you're having trouble search how to unmount iso linux and search for tutorial so but for now assume that you know how to unmount them here on nautilus in Kali linux you can just open it with this image mounter and there it is open open with files and assuming that this is the content of the ISO uh, of the ISO and now I'm going to open terminal so it was mounted on media Fajar Purnama Android x86 live CD and let's go there Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. J 
change directory and then we will copy all the contents recursively for both to remix folder okay and it should finish up soon it's only one gigabyte and then after that you need to add it on the group menu um, adding it here is one of the safest way gedit gedit from etc folder and group dot d and 40 dot custom if you if you come across a Linux distribution that doesn't have this folder, you may directly edit. Okay, sorry, sorry. You may directly edit the boot group group dot config, but be careful when editing this group. Make sure. So over here that this is where my Linux is so everything to about the group so here is a class Kali Linux and stuff blah 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 and here is my Windows is on dev SDA 1 and you may there if and if you can directly add your own over here but and uh, if you choose to add it directly don't do this command update group uh, no no group update yeah, okay update mean group don't do update mean group command because this will automatically check your system and in the in this fold and in this folder uh, in the etc group d40 custom everything here and override the group that cfg dot config and so after you finish editing that one just close and reboot your thing but for me i like to i like to add it on in etc group dot d and in 40 dot underscore custom and here it says that this file provides an easy way to add custom menu entries and here I shown that I've already done this step before but this time I will do it I will do it for you again from the start so I'm commenting this out meaning that this line will actually function and I'm going to copy what this guy space for me menu entry remix and if you take a look here is the first ins mod part of GPT you call this hmm, what you call it I forgot but then you search for the set root and remix this is the location remix system dot image if you go to the folder you will find in the remix folder that we made there is a, a mellow here it is wait Oh, it's actually system.svs but oh well it did work no 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 which means this line is actually invalid system okay let's change it to system.sfs boot 
Yeah, we've got this, you'll probably be alright. For example, delete this. For now, let's see what happens if I write system SFS. Then Linux remix kernel, the kernel for you run you run the Linux command and you'll go into the wait. Mm. This is strange. Oh here it is. Kernel. This is the kernel file. And then you root this one I just followed and know what this is if you know then give me a comment and i'm happy to learn from you guys okay blah 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 and finally init.rd and this is the init.rd.image init.rd.image is this one okay Now that is done, if, since we wrote it on IETC group.d, save. We then need to group update. Did I spell only update main group? This is okay. Group 2 is also okay. Okay, we'll generate the configuration file. And that's it though. From this tutorial, it's already enough to actually use that. Use the. Uh, that. Uh, sorry, what do you call it? From this, it's already said that the Remix OS is already installed on that hard disk, We're, but it's borrowing the Kali Linux partition. And so, and to check, go to your group.cfg and look at the very bottom. Okay, mm, this doesn't look good. Let's use gfim okay this is better and here it is if after you do the update group dot update mean group it will read the group dot d40 custom and this one will be put on it everything in it will be put even the one that i commented out for now we'll be using this and now we're ready we just need to reboot but one more thing I'm going to install that on another partition instead here I already have gparted if you don't have a gparted just aptitude search gparted or if you have any other software what oh, sorry you have any other software to do a uh, partition manage managing sure but now I'm using gpart mm, and you can use the command line tool like uh, f this I wonder if you can do it with f this I forgot and what's the other command line called? M. Um, I think it was F this. Yeah, it's F this. Okay, you can just search. There is a command line tool to to do a partition, but no need to do it. It's out of the scope now, so. So I succeeded in installing over here, but now in this video I want to demon demonstrate to you. So I'm going to I'm going to start over from the beginning. Okay, apply. 
yes so previously my hard disk should look like this previously my hard drive look like this the NTFS is a Windows operating system and this is the the Kali Linux on SDA3 or MS-DOS 3 and this is the extended partition since I'm not allowed to create more than four primary partition I made an extended but roughly if you have similar or something like this or like that make a new partition which partition you want to make as the thing for me I make it as a logical but if you want to make a primary in your own PC go ahead label and name it remix OS new size yep file system ok and apply close and hmm it's still there let me format it yes so we'll start from the beginning for this video Okay. No, oh, I didn't. I cannot totally delete it, but it'll be all right. So now it's time to close. It's time to reboot. So I'm stopping the video. I'm going to record using another media. Okay, now I'm recording from my handphone. I'm going to reboot this laptop. Now you'll see you will have Remix OS over here. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot. There's a problem. Let me start over from the beginning. Okay, you have Remix OS over here. You need to edit the boot. You need to edit the booting. Well, I should have added from the beginning though, but oh well. So press E. And then somewhere after Linux. Add here install equals to one. So it's selling that you want to install it and debug. This is where I pick up somewhere. Okay, sorry, there was some problem with my camera. So let add install one debug equals, and that's enough for me to boot. 
is actually F10 on my computer. It might be different for yours. F10. And now choose where do you want to install. If you, uh, it is mine was on SDA6, the part, the empty partition that I created. If you remember. Anyway, when doing this, don't make a mistake. This one is a Windows. This one is my colleague Linux. If you make a mistake, you might erase your whole data. So no mistake, and then four. And if you and see, there is already a warning. So be very careful on this. Do you want to install bootloader group? Well, if you only have Windows, normally you would. Well, even if you have Linux, maybe you would, but I don't want to use this group. I want to use my own group, the one that I already have. It's up to you whether you want to use yes. And yes, it might be risky, I don't want to try, so I'll skip. But if you don't have a group, it's better for you yes should be the right thing for you skip yes read and write No, 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 it's stuck in 70%. Okay, you can run straight away, but I'll choose to reboot and fix my group. I mean, add this to my group. Kali Linux hmm. Anyway this is what now my Kali Linux star starting is looks like. If it's something not right, you may comment on my video and I'll be very welcome. Okay, let me stop this recording and go back to using the desktop. Okay, I'm back to using the desktop. Um, now that I have that previously we installed it on the partition, partition number 6. And now first let's open Gparted and take a look what is inside that partition ah no 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 not gparted you can use gparted but i prefer to use in this or just mount this your 6 gparted sda6 whatever And after installing, your content should look the outside folder is called Remix OS, and this is the content. Uh, 
Okay, now you need to add. You need to add this partition to be bootable on your group. So to the terminal. It's too bad that my Nautilus, my file manager, is in the root. So gave him. Okay, start from the from the start. etc group the D um, forty. Okay, forty custom. Now you don't need this one. Your name is okay. Remix OS class Android eighty six. In smart part GPT. At the same time, why don't we open our group? Our boot group group dot gfg. So looking at the example of my hey okay looking at the example how my Windows was listed. You need it's more part MS DOS. I'm not I don't need to use this. I need to use this this you need to set the root which hard disk it is my hard disk is HD0 which one is yours SDA should be HD0 SDB should be HD1 and SDC should be HD2 and so on so add the root or we can just copy this one if it's on the same hard hard same hard drive anyway paste but this one is on the first partition the one that is installed is on the sixth partition uh, hd0 ms.6 okay and the name is no longer remix if you look at the directory is a big R remix OS so change this to remix OS there's no longer a system dot CFS when I put when I delete this I got an error or something and with and an error even though it's an error but and also which also mean that this is not necessary you can just delete this but for me i'll just keep it this way and then change this to remix os as well kernel the kernel is the same there from zero blah 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 and for the init.rd image remix os okay and everything's done save so more importantly what is your name in the class i don't know what this is for if you understand all this uh, you can leave a comment i'm not actually an expert in this type of thing oh yeah and one more before I reboot, okay, let me close this. Me, this I'll close later. Back then, when I first tried installing it, I cannot connect to the Google Play or the, the Google server. So I'll search. I search for Remix OS. C connect to Google server cannot connect to Google server was it
Or is it this one? No, no, it's actually called communication. Uh, I remember though I forgot what it was about but okay so the problem is serial random you need to add serial random on the group serial equals random let's see what thread it is aha uh -huh, it's this one no no it's not this one <laughs> Sorry guys. Ah, it's this one. Play Store not working. Is anyone having trouble with Google Play Store? Yeah, Google Remix OS 3 Play Store not working. So, I have this kind of problem. Okay. Uh -huh, so this is the solution same problem here solved by instruction serial equals random which type the kernel so you need to add this serial equals random add your boot uh, what is it called this one yeah if you don't add this, then you won't be able to connect to the Google server from Play Store. Your Play Store will not work. So this is, I've been looking for hours why I cannot connect and is, this is the problem. Okay, save and finally everything's done. And all is left is to reboot. And let me stop the recording and change hello sorry guys looks like so looks like I forgot to do something before rebooting that was um, what do you call it that was so rash of me and so after you etc group update and 40 dot custom after you change this you need to write it in a group dot you need to write it in a group config so you need to write it to update mean group 2 wait for a while okay to verify we need to open our boot group and the group config did it change yes it change change the seal the random we set the root the remix OS system blah 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 and so ah uh, no need to do that and so left is to reboot okay see you on the other video Okay, I'm rebooting my PC.
Okay, now go to Remix OS, press E. Just to check, has it changed? Yes, the root is in MS DOS 6 and blah blah blah, and yes. And so now F10 for me. You see this on the system that there's no such thing, so that's why I was saying that that line was not really important. You can just press enter. I'll remove my headlock for now, so there may be a sound or something. Ah. So for the first boot, it'll take quite a while, maybe one to two minutes, but it won't take as much as five or even more. If it takes more, then there's something wrong with it. So while waiting, let me tell you why I installed, why I'm going through something like this. Imagine if you, if you only have a phone or you don't have a phone, your handphone can only send a text message and can only call but you want to play android games how can you do that if you only have a pc so of course the answer for, for me what i'm doing now is how is to install an android system on my pc if you have a Windows, you can use an Android emulator like Bluestack and Memu. If you're using Linux, you can get a Ganymotion or even Android a SDK. And if you're using this way, you can install an Android platform operating system on your PC called Remix OS. So this is just my attempt on how to play Android games on PC. How to play Android games if I don't have an Android myself. Okay, now this is the screen. Don't worry, this is quite normal. If you're worried, just click something. But it will show up in a few minutes. Hi and welcome to Remix OS. I'm going to use the language of English United States. I agree to whatever your user agreements are and let me set the password okay I just got the password for my Wi-Fi connect yes I would like to activate Google Play thank you And app you love, tap to get started, continue, nope, I don't need this, but everything is up to you. For now, I don't need this. finish now okay now go to your first check make sure you're connected to the uh, to your the internet now go to your start menu and search for play store and 
enter your email okay let me let me pause for a while okay i'm on i've already signed in then accept Okay. 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 The first software that I want to get is play games and after that some games that I want to play. I've read on the internet that play using Google's Google Play games you can actually record so maybe I'll install this and I'll switch my recording to the desktop hey okay it's downloading 11 megabyte, not much. And it's done. So can right click and then quit app. I'm going to do a recording from here after this. But for now let's call it a day. Uh next time I'll be doing recording on some games. Okay. It's off. See? Okay, bye bye. Hello guys, lastly on this video I'd like to implement uh boot configuration uh group configuration that I found on uh on one of their forums. Well it already worked though but just in case if any future problem persists now I forgot what my password is okay and then okay monetary mono entry menu entry remix os is mod part GPT. I'm going to its mod everything. I don't know what this do though, but if you have any idea, please do comment. In mod ext2. Um, Wait. Okay, yes, just follow it. But I wonder what my Okay, set the root to HD zero. Okay, this one is only correct for me. And then search file.
this one is actually not needed is then set root and then go straight to Linux the kernel quiet I don't need I don't need it quiet and then the root is okay this one the same and that's a little permissive and then there is a source source is the folder itself remix my folder remix os okay and that is it about the serial random i need this so i can access google play okay and that's the update for the groups configuration if you know any better configuration or if you know the right one please do leave a comment i'm currently facing an issue not being able to screen record on the remix os if you do find a good way um yeah please do leave a comment as well yeah the group Now let's see the boot group group dot config. Okay, it's already changed. And let's see of my Kali Linux in the ins mod. Kali Linux. Oh yeah, I shall use ext2, okay, I'll follow it for now. And so that's it, and let me go to my... Hello everyone, I'm Fajar Purnama, and I succeeded in installing uh, Remix OS on my PC, and I installed it through Kali Linux, but now I'm not in Kali Linux, I'm in Remix OS and here I'm going to try on this video I would like to try to do a recording a screen recording on Remix OS which I did try a few times and it's quite buggy and most of the time I have to restart so by the way if you want to record uh, how I record this I record through using a play games but before you record you have you need to have already a game installed for it to be able to have the recorded button to appear so once I press this and then this will appear and then you can start recording and unfortunately on Remix OS I cannot record in high definition mm, it's error or something I can only record in a low definition so in the future I know they will improve this feature but for now at least to play games it's very well smooth okay let's try something a bit okay I'm going to donate stuff to my clan members Okay, and now I'm going to try to open the settings here you can use a Wi-Fi or a cable to connect and there are many other settings that you should see for yourself let me open about the tablet oh this is quite dangerous so this is 
Oh, it's Asus Tech. Oh well. So this is it. And that's it. If you want, and if you cannot open Play Store, and you should look at my other video where you have to uh, modify the group configuration. And this is the startup. You can turn off this operating system here and there are many other things and then the Google Play Store they have also an app store uh, why don't you explore yourself but for now let me close this video thank you and on next video I'll be do on some games <laughs>